In this video, we will demonstrate the Wingshire LiDAR workflow in LP360 Drone and how to import an orthophoto to colorize your Wingshire LiDAR. The licenses required for this processing are LP360 Drone, Strip Align, and 3D Accuracy to perform the automatic debias. To get started, we'll open LP360 and in the New Project, select Import Raw Missions into New Project. From here, We'll use the Wingtra LiDAR in our import wizard to get started. Next, be sure to select the LAS and trajectory file from the Wingtra LiDAR software. Where can you find these files? The LAS will be in the point clouds folder, and your trajectory file should be in the outputs and report. At this point, after you've selected your project output folder, we'll select the proper coordinate reference system. Remember the correct coordinate reference system for each file selected in the Wingtra LiDAR software. From here we'll select OK. We'll give our output project a name, Wingtra, and then click the Finish button. During the course of this workflow video, in order to save some time, we'll speed up some of the processing. Processing times can vary depending on the speed of your computer. After importing our Wingtra LiDAR data, the next step is to generate our flight lines. It helps to use the measure tool to learn approximately the correct flight line length. Under the sensor tab, you'll see the Auto Create Flight Lines label. Now we'll want to clean up our flight lines by getting rid of any undesired flight lines we see. Then click on the flight lines you don't want and press delete on your keyboard. In the sensor tab, we'll then click on post processing where we'll select the clip angle. And from here, we'll select the clip range and then we'll let LP360 run its post processing. It's important to know that clip angles are 50% of the field of view. So therefore, if we select a 40 degree clip angle, it means we'll have an 80 degree field of view and please note the maximum Wingtra LiDAR field of view is 90 degrees. The next step in our process is to run strip alignment to verify the alignment of the flight lines and make any corrections. Under the sensor tab, we'll select strip align and then we'll give our file a new layer name, LAS-stripalign. We'll then submit our strip align to the job manager. At this point, we'll either receive an email when the processing is done or we'll get the green flag, which means we can go. Once strip align finishes, the status will change the post process. Running the strip alignment tool will create a new LAS file. In this case, we labeled it LAS-SA. Next up, we want to check our accuracy by importing some control points. So we'll go to the control points tab and select import. We'll select the add button and then import our control points in a .csv or .txt format. We'll then want to select our output folder. We'll click next, and then we'll start our import corresponding with line two based on the tab and finish up by selecting the column and the correct point data attributes. We'll click finish and begin our accuracy estimation. So we'll select Accuracy Estimation under the Control Points tab and start by clicking on Auto Find. After the process finishes, if you're using checkerboards, be sure to go to Settings and select your target size. All right, we've now generated our control point report with statistics for each control point that we've imported. This report will show the difference between each point to the point cloud and if it has automatic detection, it'll also add a comment on how reliable that measurement was. In this case, if we do detect a bias, we can use the Solve button to fix it. Then a new layer called LAS Layer-1 will be created with the debiased point cloud. The layer will show up in our table of contents and we'll rename it to LAS-SA-Debias. All right, we'll organize our table of contents, and at this point, we'll import an orthophoto to create point cloud colorization for the Wingtra LiDAR. In the Add Files window, under the Raster tab, we'll select the plus symbol to add an orthophoto. 
be sure that your orthophoto is in the same coordinate reference system as the project. Otherwise, you'll need to reproject it before performing the next steps. The orthophotos can be rather large, so we've sped up the processing for this video. Again, depending on the speed of your computer will determine how long it takes to process the orthophoto. Once the photo has been added to our table of contents, next we'll select our Point Cloud Task tab, and we'll be looking for the Color by Image task. Then we'll select the Ortho in our map layer, hit Close, and then we'll want to configure our Point Cloud task to make sure that the LiDAR RGB is checked, and that the red image is in channel 1, the green image is in channel 2, and our blue image is in channel 3. We'll click Apply. And then under the Point Task tab, we'll select By Active Later to start our Point Cloud task. Again, we'll speed this up. And then when the process is completed, we'll select OK. And then once again, now that the Point Cloud task is completed, we'll have a new layer called the LAS Layer-1. Now that this last file is colorized, we can view it in the RGB mode. which we'll want to rename to LAS-SA-DBIAS-RGB for the colorization. The next step is to use the smoothing tool to reduce the noise in the point cloud. So once again, we'll select our point cloud task tab and then select the TrueView Smooth Point Cloud. Then once again, we do by active layer and once our dialog window comes up, we select yes. And then when the process is complete, once again, there'll be a new layer called LAS Layer-1. And we'll want to rename this the LAS-SA-DBIAS-RGB-SM. All right, and then the final step in our workflow is to export our final point cloud into a single LAS file. To do so, under the Feature Edit tab, select Create Feature Layer. Then we'll select the folder where we want to save the layer and give the layer a name. In this case, I'll use AOI for Area of Interest. Then we'll select our geometry type, and in this case, we'll do a 2D polygon. Select OK. And now we'll highlight the area of interest within the point cloud. From here, just right-click on your mouse, select Finish Edit, and then be sure to save your edits. Then we'll go back to the Project tab where we can find our Export Wizard. Press the Next button and be sure to select the Cookie Cut by Polygons. And in this case, we'll make a new folder for our final export. We'll click Finish and let it process. And there you have it, we've generated our final LAS file. And if we go to the export folder, we'll see just a single LAS file that contains all the corrections that were applied during this video. Thank you for watching this workflow video on how to process and colorize Wintra LiDAR data. If you need more information, please visit lp360.com.